welcome back to Travis is Dumber Than Every Grader. And I'm Eric. And we're booking gaming, and we're about to and tag I, team homeroom. And I may be smarter than the fifth grader, but I trusted the kid, and that got me nowhere. Yeah, that makes you dumb. Oh, is that how that you're, works? You're more trusting than a fifth grader. Okay. Which is a bad way to be. Well, I'm going to go to homeroom. And we're gonna, we're gonna, let's create a collective character. Okay. Let's, we gotta name it, and I'm just gonna hit random. Okay. So what do we name it? Uh, Irvis. Okay. Irvis. I mean, it was gonna be E-R, since it's our names together, but that's fine. Oh! Irvis. I didn't, I'm surprised that didn't go through. That's fine. That's our, it works right there. Irvis. And then just hit randomize four times. There he is. That's Irvis. There's Irvis. Okay. It's an are, amalgamation of us. We are done. He's got my glasses. Irvis. Clem Bob Tedward Irvis. <laughs> at your service. <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst law firm in the country. <laughs> I was saying like, it's all one guy. <laughs> oh, God. Is it the same kids? I think so. It is the same kids. Yep. Hi, Jeff. Oh, no one gave me a cue. Jeff is it on? Oh, shit. Welcome to That's really embarrassing. All right, we're skipping. Yeah, we saw this. All right. All right. Yeah, All right. we get how to play now. Who do we start with? Fucking Alicia. Right? Okay. It's you and me, Alicia. Alicia. Oh, shit. I think I just default to Alicia because we had an, uh, yeah. an Alicia in our wow. class. That's fun yeah, like that. we did. Yeah, I knew it was Here cutting a bunch of stuff out for the for multiplayer game. mode. Music, grammar. grammar. Where's the Where's math? I need math. Oh, there's measurements. Mathematics. Oh, no, that's measurements. Good thing reading's not in here. <laughs> it's just yellow. Okay, yeah, we don't need you to read them. Okay, yeah, we oh, actually fixed one. Her favorite grader. subject, I guess? Subject. Probably. Let's, uh, let's start with fourth grade measurements. Okay. Right? Or should we do something else? I mean, I'd get rid of the higher ones first, right? Save the low ones for later. Let's uh, let's do third grade vocabulary. Okay. Okay. For one thousand dollars, here's the question. Pair and pair are what kind of words? Homophones. Yeah. Yeah. They sound similar, but are spelled differently. Yeah. I lost. Because synonyms is different. Is same. Synonymous. Yeah. I don't remember what antonyms are. You are now opposites. In. Is it just opposites? Because onomatopoeia is just like wolf. Yeah. Got $1, you look like an asshole. Yes. Yes. Got that same cool hat though. Right. Homophones are words that are pronounced the same but have different meanings. You've got your class. <laughs> okay. With Should you. we try Take a fifth a grade then? Probably. Because we don't want to get stuck with those later on with the harder questions, okay. right? The right. Question it, it might is... be tricking us though. Oh, it's DNA. That's DNA. I feel like RNA also. Or is works. it RNA? Ooh. It's DNA. It's got to be DNA. Oh, Fifth grade. Deoxy Fifth grade is not learning about RNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, everyone's very impressed. Locking Just click in. the fucking button. It's gonna be <laughs> RNA. <laughs> there you go. You're locked in. It's, it's mitochondria that gives us damn the force. Damn it! It's cytoplasm. You've got. Yeah. You got Ooh, it. thanks. You got it. What was that little? I don't Are you know. Flashing gang signs on national television? <laughs> I know. I told everyone already. Yeah, don't worry. I got this. <laughs> you can just cross that out. Classmates can only help you two questions. Oh, time, she so didn't even help me though. Sorry, Alicia. Dang it. All right. Um. All right, George. Is that Louis C.K.? He's got the red hair. <laughs> Come on, waddle your way we up here. We can save him. We can save him before he goes down the dark path. Yes. Warn him of his future. Don't masturbate in front let's of anybody. Let's go with, uh, let's go with geography. Okay. Okay. I'm terrible at this. Okay. Here is the question. What is not a country in North America? Uh, yeah. George locked in his answer very <laughs> what quickly. grade was that? Second. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's fast. <laughs> All right. So All right. All right. You're wrong. Mexico. Uh, what? No. He's annexed. No, uh. -uh. You've got five thousand dollars. Cause we're building that wall. Yes. Huzzah! With your money. Oh man. 
Greenland is self-governed Danish territory. Yummy. Which Delish. Let's want? go with cultural studies and get that out of the way. Yeah. What's cultural okay. studies? How is that not social studies? I mean, social studies right. sociology, I guess, but... In Greek mythology, from what mountain did the gods rule? Olympus! O Olympus. Right? Yeah. Your You've Lock seen Hercules? <laughs> right. Hermes I'm, is in that, too. I'm just always worried that someone's gonna okay, trick me. It yeah, like, it's like Greek is in. different than Peloponnesian or something, mm, you know? Right. Or Ibble. Yeah, Ibble. You got that one right. Woo! We are the smurdest. My name's Urbis. And I'm the smurdest. And I'm the smurdest. Uh, we'll go with Louis I'm Armstrong go over here. Help, Louis. Help me, Louis. You're our only hope. Yeah. Well, you went that way. Two-handed oh. high five. Whoa! He just <laughs> trips and busts open his face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Louis. <laughs> are you okay? I would do either physical science or Let's measurements. Let's try it. We can we can get Louis' okay. help on this one. This is one of the biggest questions on the board because regardless what happens the rest of the game, the least true. you can win is twenty five. Yeah, true or false? The boiling point of water changes with the barometric barometric pressure. It's true, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be true because altitude things boil different with different right. uh, elevations. Yeah. It's a trick question. It's false. Okay. I'm locking in my answer. It's like, oh, it's not barometric. It's schnoobity schnobbles. Yeah, schnoobity schnobble like pre pressure. In. God damn it, Jeff Foxworthy. I might be a redneck. Help me, kid. You must have learned something in school because that's I mean, I got it right answer. because even if I get it wrong, the kid will answer the other way, correct? I mean, we could guess, we could guess the same way. But he could also ways. be wrong. I think if you click that favorite subject thing, like it asks them just in case it's like, are you let's worth, oh. did I pick correctly? Well, let's hit it now. Should we hit it now? Yeah, do it. Which subject do you feel confident with? There we go. Well, oh, you let them pick. My favorite subjects are measurements. Measurements? Well, perfect. Social studies. Let's measure some shit, kid. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Oh, it just asks you them. I, yeah. Well, good for you. I'm picking first grade grammar. So that'll be that. That's the right one to do because no he'll probably get happens, that one right if we get it wrong. $5, right. It's almost like a freebie question because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that yeah, you said this already. Yeah, it's cool. If one inch equals 15 miles, how long right would 180 now. miles be uh, on a map? Uh, uh, Ten inches. In so twelve inches. A foot. So a foot, yeah. Fifteen times twelve. Yeah. 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 I did Common Core in my head. <laughs> Locking in. Because I get, I've, I have apparently always done Common Core in my head. I just didn't realize that's what it was. And the first time I saw it like written out on a page, I was like, "What the fuck is this? With right. the weird hills." But I've always done it that way in my head to be like, "Okay, well, fifteen times ten is one hundred fifty, and then thirty is two. All right. All right. I didn't need you, Louie. Great job. Okay. That's good to know. Dude, Class relax your shoulders. <laughs> Who do we Jeff go with? Foxworthy, so <laughs> nervous to be on TV. Oh, all right. Gonna randomize it. The Jays have it. Ugh. It's you and me, Jeremy. I think it was Jeremy. Jeremy, <coughs> don't speak in class today. Oh. What a little robotic walk. <laughs> Alright, so okay. on the board. We're going with first grade music. True or false, the term key signatures best describes the collection of accidentals found within a scale. Sure, the music sure. that's not a first grade question. It's not bullshit. Even, yes, first graders don't know what the fuck accidentals no, are. No, that's not. It goes by how much you're up the ladder 100 percent. yeah because yeah, this is not what is this this is bullshit it's gotta be false right or use a cheat key signature no that's the that's the the key signature that's is the like time your, is your or, time yeah yeah four four key signature the collection of accidentals found within a scale i mean maybe no I don't. best describes it yeah it's pretty false. sure it's false i mean he might save you okay Just okay tell him okay. like pick the other one yeah i'm gonna hit false Okay, All right, we're good. Jeremy, don't in. fuck me. Here. What was that? I I sneezed. I snozed real good. You're going for one hundred thousand dollars. 
Oh, yeah. I don't know what took you so long to come up with that answer, but I do know that it's wrong. He no! Oh, I'm the dumbest idiot. You're kidding. Oh, I am kidding, actually. Accidentals? You're right. What's an accidental, then? Notes? Only your partner can help you now. I hope so, because otherwise we're done. Yes! Yeah, Jeremy! Okay, I'm even a music person. What the hell's an accidental? I don't know. All right, well, whatever. That's not a first-grade question. Oh, God, no. First-grade music should have been, like... How many blind mice? Sleep through the fifth right. Grade. Yeah, they don't know anything about actual uh, like music theory. Music and shit. theory. Yeah. Yet. Zero to seven. Oh, it's just sharps, sharps and flats. flats. They're called accidentals. I guess. Which subject do you want? Uh, I don't know. Earth science. Sure. All right. Woo! I don't feel like we're ever going to win the million here. We got this. The Earth has a magnetic field. True. What? Does, Does it? It? <laughs> <laughs> it has to, yeah, because the moon revolves around it. Right. We have tides. Yeah. We have magnetic we have poles. poles. Yeah. Why is this so... It, it's gonna it's gonna be like actually that's the thing like it's I keep, electromagnetic i keep second guessing because i'm like it's got to be a trick question right We're right this far in we go from accidentals to this yeah it's wrong you got that one right hell okay. yeah right. Woo! hell yeah Up the butt. brother excellent work yeah Aurora's. It causes auroras near the North and South Poles. Localized entirely in your kitchen. <laughs> Can your I see it? Classmate. No. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sweet bell bottoms. Right? Oh. Sweet <laughs> five head. Pick another Let's subject. go with grammar. Okay. Okay. Social studies is the most bullshit thing. A question can end with a period or a question mark. False. A question has to end with a question mark. Your classmate is locked yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, can you think of a question that ends in a... No. No. It's gotta be false. You will marry me. Nope, that's statement. That's just a command. Or a, yeah. A <laughs> command? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a command. Lock in my answer. It's gonna be like, there is only one known For sentence now, in the entire in. world. That is a question that ends in a period. There was one... I, I hate all the false shit you learn in school, because there's one that stuck with me that I, our English teacher that at one point was like, yeah, the shortest correct. sentence in Excellent. the English language is I am. I'm like, Great no. Job. It's go. Yeah, or hi. Yeah. Because, <laughs> well, they were trying to teach, like, nouns and verb. Like, you have to have a noun and have yeah. a verb. But it's like, no, I, not if it's an exclamation of... A command it's right go because then it's an inferred noun yeah and i had a it was my it was the same teacher that i complained about that one time that hated all video game stuff i remember specifically one time that he was saying that there are no words with three vowels in a row in the he's like what would that even sound like and like nobody could think of it at the time but there are beauty yeah there's -A -U. yeah there's tons yeah. There's even Q, which has four vowels in a row. Oh uh, yeah. He's, and this is a this was a. It's just it's one of those things that like this a was teacher, a sixth grade teacher. Yeah, it's like the teacher just like thought of this at one point and is like, "Wow, I'm so cool. I'm going to tell these students." Yeah. Gonna, it's like, dude, For you're just wrong. Right. Dollars, here's the question. Into India. Ooh, Ooh crap. Ooh. Is it a rupee? I think it is. I think so. Because that one is Korea. The one that I'm on, right? Because uh, of that squid game? Yeah. Nuevo Sol is like... That's like some kind of Spanish thing. That should be dollar. Should we cheat? Let's use a cheat. You can cheat if you want. I'm pretty sure it's rupee, though. You peek at well, then, answer. Yeah, I mean... Let's peek. Because we don't want to copy. I'm pretty sure that locks us in. Right. I think it's, I think it's rupee, because it's like rupee for India, but ruble, ruble for Russia. Well, they Rubles. 
If All right. That's the answer you want to go with, yeah, lock, let's do it. Locking in. Because that's locking what I think in. it is. Yeah, because Nuevo Soul is you are now tomorrow's son. <laughs> I don't, wait, Nuevo no, is you're new, isn't it? Oh, maybe it is. New son. What's the million dollar question then? It's like You've a specialty. You have to do like two of them, dollars. I think. Awesome. Yes. Oh. Do that little dance. <laughs> well, you got well, some broad shoulders. Here you are at the end of the road. Move, dude. All right, we got he has not moved this entire time. No. They didn't. They forgot to animate him. Right, just have him turn a little bit. The million dollar question. Dude, he does Here's not. This, this is freaking works. me out. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question. Uh -huh. And right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to If we want to go not. for it. Oh, uh, yeah. The or answer is, where we're let's at. just take our 500,000. Right? <laughs> Oh, oh man, we got this because we have a phone. <laughs> We're not gonna cheat. <laughs> we have to cheat. No, it's gonna. We are not gonna cheat. If you go for it, you won't get any help from hey, your Alexa. And if you get it wrong, you'll walk away. One. I was gonna say <laughs> you may have just set off someone else's though. And win a million dollars. Let's do it. Let's are win a million dollars. We gotta go for it. Well, I'm dropping it. Going for the million, baby. Baby. Yeah. It doesn't get any bigger than this question. I'm a cancer. Playing for one million dollars. <laughs> Is that the answer? One of the four brightest stars in the sky, Vega. Yeah. In which musical I don't know. Musical constellation. Oh, oh, you gotta shit. type it in. Oh my. I can't take much more of this. <laughs> All right, calm down, man. Do you want me to cheat? I can't take much more. A musical constellation. I don't is even it no any musical constellation? Is, is there a harp? Virgo holds a harp. Lyra. Oh, maybe. Uh, Google it. Let's get it correct. Four brightest stars in the sky. Vega can be found in which musical constellation? Vega is in which? Is there a, or is there like a lute? Ly Lyra. It is. Yeah. Was I right? It's Lyra. L -Y -R -A. Holy shit, I was yeah. right. Well then, look at that, we won anyways. Yeah, we would have had it. <laughs> well, I would have convinced you it was Virgo. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. What? If, I bet you have to spell... No fifth grader knows that. No. I'm sorry. No fifth... No one, in, no one is teaching astrology in fifth grade. One million dollars no. Is on the the line. space stuff you're learning anyway. is like the First planet. Off, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, constellations. It's but it's part of easy. science. It's not astrology. It's you just science. Right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't... You oh, will lose the suspense. I can't believe I actually got it right. Right? That's awesome. And walk out of here I am smarter than a fifth grader. You're a smart boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's it. The million dollar question is smarter than a fifth grader. You won <laughs> yeah. one million dollars. We actually won. You're the best. I mean, like we cheated a little to confirm, but yeah, but we had it. <laughs> yeah, we won. What an incredible <laughs> job you did here. Do we? Do we want to do the? Oh, oh, he's back at his yeah. spot. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Returning to charging station. Oh, there we go. Whoa! He can move. He's attacking. I mean, Put just, him down. Ha just have him do that occasionally. Thank you. Or move his fucking arms. <laughs> Read the card that's in his hand. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Bye bye, everybody. Woohoo! I have no idea what the interaction just happened, but we won. We did it. <laughs> I'm excited, actually. We got a name minus. Because you had to cheat. Oh, I used one cheat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do the versus mode? Next uh, gonna, next time. On the next episode where you're just going to beat my ass instantly? Let's do it, I guess. All right. Awesome. Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. Shut it's up.